Magnus Day, head of marketing at Blue Group of Companies. Before that, I have worked in other FMCG companies and marketing agencies, notably with Promas Dogana, who work with Ring Gear Ghana, and um, work with some other digital marketing agencies. Education wise, I have an MBA from University of Ghana Business School and currently pursuing my postgraduate diploma with Chartered Institute of Marketing UK. I have been working as a marketing and salesperson for a decade now, currently working as head of marketing at Blue Group of Companies, producers of Bell Aqua, Bell Beverages and all the subsidiaries. If you want to describe me simply, I would say I have a knack for solving problems. I started my journey as events and programs manager for University of Ghana, where I excelled quite well, and then from there moved on to do sales, B2B sales to be specific. So it's more of a consulting role than uh, delivering or serving a product. Uh, and then also work with some other FMCGs and marketing agencies. Prior to my current role as head of marketing, I've played brand management roles, business development roles, head of strategy roles, all in the marketing space. I realized quite early that I have a very flexible mind. I think quick and deep. The works I've done all has been thinking through problems and solving, providing solutions, and even through that, highly results-oriented. And so, when I conducted a personality test, at the time, it came out that I was a debater. So I actually looked for roles around that uh, area, and I thought I would be a very good entrepreneur or business consultant or strategist. So I thought, okay, uh, let me go into sales and marketing. Yeah, but before that, I tried going into the military. <laughs> it did not work. I thought that I would learn discipline because entrepreneurs need to be disciplined. <laughs> but yes, yeah, sales is the closest, I would say, to entrepreneurship because you are acting as an entrepreneur within the business where you're working. So I was quite intentional, had a career plan uh, right from school. And I think that I've been working that path of my plan since then. So. I think the flexibility of my mind, versatility, and my ability to adapt to new environments and solve problems, the highly growth-minded, these things that make me want to enter the marketing space. For success in the marketing field, individuals need two skills, soft and hard skills, just like any other field basically. Soft skills might cut across, but hard skills might be industry specific. So in terms of hard skills, I already mentioned data analysis. You need to learn how to conduct research and analyze the data because you will need that insight. You will need search engine optimization skills, search engine marketing skills, digital marketing skills, all of that are important skills you have to learn how to leverage AI to solve marketing problems. In terms of hard skills, you need to have that. In terms of soft skills, I think it's quite common. You need problem solving skills, you need communication skills, the kind of communication that generates impact. And basically, you need persuasive skills also. I think those are some of the soft skills that you should be looking out for entering into the industry. There are a lot of misconceptions people have about marketing. I think the first one I'll talk about because it affected me was that I thought marketing was sales. Marketing is not sales. Sales is a subset of marketing because sales mainly involves the distribution and to a large extent, redistribution of the goods and services to the target audience. But marketing goes beyond that. If you think marketing sales, then probably you are only thinking about a 1P within the marketing. And you know, we talk about the 4 piece or the 7 piece in marketing. So it involves looking at your product, your packaging, your pricing, your distribution, redistribution, promotion and advertisement. So people equate it and it's not the same. People also sometimes think that marketing requires that you lie or marketers are liars. Marketers are not liars. 
you are either a liar or you are honest. Especially in this day and age where there's a zero moment of truth. You just have to talk about your product. What is your unique selling proposition? How are you different from competition? And what need uh, are you satisfying or meeting? These are the essentials you should look out for. Not the assumption that you are going to lie to people. And people also think that marketing is advertising. Oh, okay, we have advertised a product and so we have marketed the product. It's also not that. Marketing begins from the product development all the way to satisfying the consumer and even beyond to how the consumer disposes of. So you are looking at seven P's here. You are not looking at one P, which is advertising. So marketing is wide, marketing is big, marketing is not sales, it's not advertising, and marketing is not about telling lies. I received a lot of advice. I think that the best one would be as a marketer, you satisfy needs and you don't create needs. Today, there's been an argument that, oh yeah, you can create a need, but I beg to differ. You can create a desire, but you cannot really create a need. What you think you are creating as a need can be captured on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So if you can capture as a marketer the desires of your target audience and know at what point they are on their hierarchy of needs and what they are desiring for, then you can really sell. So you are not creating a need. You need to know your target group and what their needs are. Generate insight within that space and sell to them. So that's the best advice. We meet needs and not create needs. From my experience, recruitment within the marketing space has to do with a lot of referrals, a lot of recommendations, because marketing is highly results oriented. Interviews are very flexible and might require some practical things to do before you get the job. So these are some of the unique things that the marketing industry has different from others. Recruiting within the marketing space, I look for a personality with a growth mindset. A personality with a growth mindset will never say, I can't do it and retreat. He will say, not yet. Give me some time to learn it and deliver. And the marketing job requires that because um, there, there are a lot of changes that happen on the market. There are a lot of dynamics that play. There are also some external shocks that come within the market. So you need someone who is growth-minded, who can say that even though we did not get this, give us some time and we'll be able to give you this. So I need to see that within the CV of the person or during my interview, I need to be able to get that insight that the person I am recruiting is a highly growth-minded individual and will not just stop but will ensure that the job is done because a growth mind gets your grit levels on high as compared to someone who is very static. I'm excited about the future of marketing because sustainability is going to be the core of the things we do as marketers. I came from a background where I love to impact society and I think I am passionate about reaching to places that are most difficult for people to get to and so it made it very interesting for me when I realized that people are becoming more and more conscious of how community lives of people or livelihoods are impacted with marketing efforts and ensuring that companies are very socially responsible. So that's going to be the future of marketing. Uh, but it, it's not only about the people, but the environment, climate, infrastructure, and the things that go into urbanization are things that are of major concerns to nations and for businesses. And I'm so excited about that. We need a sustainable earth and Marketing can be one of the tools to drive us 
into that sustainable earth, I am excited about it. So I feel that as marketers, we have a very exciting future and I am happy to be part of it.